the topic of today's call is our life of privilege. And today I woke up to an incredible sunrise overlooking Lake Erie. Lake Erie is my backyard. And as, as I watched this beautiful scene, it occurred to me what a privilege it is to wake up to this every morning I'm here. Those of you that read my newsletter for a long time know I don't talk much about me or the wonderful experiences I, I've had in my life. Instead, the focus is always what can be shared to improve the reader's quality of life. To the people that are listening to this call, I really do this to improve quality of life. Whether you're in a dealership environment and you're, or you're in some other form of business, quality of life is the critical part of the purpose of what I do. A life of privilege doesn't mean it's without challenges that must be faced. I know in my life there were several times when I endured challenges that seemed so great I wondered if Walmart was still hiring people greeters. When you question what you're doing right down to the core, to the very inner part of yourself, am I doing the right thing? You should look for another career. What's doing isn't working. It's at that exact distinct moment you can earn your life of privilege. There's a few times as president of Fixed Performance, it just wasn't fun. One of those was in the Great Recession, 08, 09, when dealerships were falling like flies. They were looking for the Federal Express guy to see if they got their letter, letting them know if they were even allowed to be a dealer anymore. They were wondering if Detroit would make cars or if if the auto business would survive. My company struggled also. Those were some serious bad times. You're forced to decide to add to your debt to survive or quit. Many in the consulting business, like I am in, chose to quit. However, I decided to keep going. I remember going through uh, wrist surgery and the, the pain involved in that. I pulled the cast off that and my fingers wouldn't move on my right hand. And yes, I'm right-handed. I, I went out and looked, how do I travel when I can't even buckle my belt or tie shoestrings? And in that time, dealerships were wondering again if they were going to survive they sure didn't need training and consulting for fixed stops when in reality that puzzled me because i saw that fixed stops was the way for dealers to survive i've had a year struggle to even make my fingers touch my thumb the pain in that was so incredible i i remember going through it vividly. So I was struggling with with uh, the car consulting business, struggling with my personal health, struggling financially, and deep in my core, I was challenged. Do I want to go on? Do I want to continue? Literally wondering what else I could do. And determining that decision that's the privilege that I'm talking about. Our ability is we, choose, we can choose to endure the challenges of the day and keep moving ahead. In this format, anyone has a life of privilege. The privilege of choice is always yours. The results of those decisions that you make will develop your future from every challenge. You see, I, I believe that it's not win or lose. I believe it's win or learn. I am confident 
my decisions in the future will be both good and bad. Let's all realize together the privilege of making the choice. The privilege of deciding when to hang on, deciding when to reinvent yourself, deciding to overcome the struggles. Again, I I remember that time where I, my my right hand started to stop working. I that the the surgeon was honest about it. Said the cast may have been too tight for six weeks, but as sorry as I was feeling for myself, the pain and the business and the financial struggles, I was asked to attend a speaking engagement, a seminar really by a young lady that had no arms. And this person had her pilot's license. She could drive a car. She could literally dress herself. I I, I witnessed her come in and grab a, a marker magic marker and start writing on a whiteboard. I felt sorry for myself. And here's a person that had literally no arms, Jessica Cox. If you get any time, listen to her. She got a lot of YouTube videos and and a lot of motivational things. But here's a person comes up with her toes, grabs a white, a magic marker, and on a whiteboard starts writing as anyone would with their arms. Here's a person that never felt sorry for the situation she was in. Instead, literally refused to allow it to be an obstacle in her life. That's the way we endure challenges. That's how you get a privileged life. I hope today you listen to this call, understand the privilege of even having the choice of how you're going to respond. The most successful people in the world have chosen to stick with it in times of adversity. Will you have a privileged life? Thanks for your time, and I'll talk to you next week.